All right, so welcome. The question we're tackling right now is what is the least positive integer k for which 120k is the square of an integer? And so what we're going to do is we're going to tackle this using prime factorization. So a uh, neat fact is that the prime factors of a perfect square come in pairs, right? So if you, if you do like, for example, the prime factorization of 100, 100 is a perfect square. So when you do the prime factorization, you get 2 and 50, and you always circle your primes, right? And then you do 2, and you get 25. Circle, and then you get, lo and behold, 5 and 5. And so you see how you have pairs here? Uh, 2 and 2, 5 and 5. The prime factorization of a perfect square, the factors come in pairs. And you can try this on your own for all the perfect squares you can think of. This will always be true. Versus if you do a number like, say, 20, right? If you do the prime factorization of 20, you get 2 and 10. And then you get 2 and 5. And 5 doesn't have a pair, right? So 20 is not a perfect square. If we wanted to make 20 a perfect square, what we would do is multiply by 5, right? We multiply by 5, so we get an extra 5 in there. And lo and behold, we get 100. So if we multiply by 5, we get 100, and that is a perfect square. All right, so this mess over here, just ignore all that. That's just to explain the concept, right? So we're going to get rid of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the prime factorization of 120k, right? So uh, 2 and then 60k. Yeah, and then we're going to do 2, and then 30k, and then 2, and then 15k, and then 3, and 5k, and then 5, and k. All right, so look at what we've got here. If we multiply, the definition of prime factorization, right, is if we multiply 2 times 2 times 2, times 3, times 5, times k, that's going to give us back our 120k. What we need is the lowest value of k that's going to make this whole thing a perfect square. Well, the lowest value of k that's going to make it a perfect square is going to be the one that makes a pair for all these orphans, right? So look at this. That 2 and 2 are already paired off. But we have an orphan, an orphan, and an orphan with 2, 3, and 5. And so k needs to make a pair for 2, 3, and 5. So what is 2 times 3 times 5? Well, that's 30, right? So if k is 30, if k equals 30, then the prime factorization can keep going, right? And so then we can have another 2, another 3, and another 5. So if k equals 30, then 120k is a perfect square. And 120 times 30 is 3600, and lo and behold, 3600 is uh, the square of 60. So we're done. Cool? Cool.